Festivities are wrapping up. This place is rocking. The home opener is coming up next. From inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay, the show has an AL East matchup. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. John Shami alongside Chris Singleton. The cameras are out for this one, partner. Home openers are unique and always bring a special type of energy to the ballpark. Boo, today is a celebration. It is the beginning of a new year, and there's no other game like this one on the schedule. It's the first time playing inside your home stadium with your brand new teammates, and you know the fans are going to bring the energy. The excitement is already building in here. So just about set now, and pitching in this game, Drew Rasmussen. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Okay, all set to go. And into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Leading off the afternoon for Baltimore. And a pitch. The second base. That's Jorge. in there. And the home Mateo. opener is underway. First pitch, 310. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 2 now. Next offering misses, and it's 1 and 2. The pitch. On a line, base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Ramon Urias takes a ball here as he stands in now. Next offering is in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Here's a 1-1. And a strike in there. Mateo on at first. Nobody out. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Nice soft hands on the backhand right there in the six hole. Starts the double play. That's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Check swing. He went, and it's 0-1. No score just getting started top of the first. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. On the ground, right side. Whips it to first. And that is that. Half been incomplete. We've got no score. Bottom of the first. On the hill here today, Bruce Zimmerman. Chris, he's looking for a bounce back this season. Yeah, and I think this guy understands that if he doesn't make quicker adjustments and show improvement, that the patience that his manager has will not last as long as it did last year. So we'll see if he can get off to a great start. Perhaps the work that he did in the offseason will show good results early on. But he's got to get out of the gates going strong, or else he may find himself in the bullpen or back in the minor leagues. Manuel Marco takes a strike as he leads things off. And he hits a ground ball right side. Whips it to Mountcastle. One up, one down. Batting second. The designated hitter, Brett. And here is Brett Phillips. That one's in there, 0 and 1. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. In the air, center field. Mateo settles underneath it. He's got it, and there's two away. Batting third. Yandy Diaz now. Yandy. I mean, these guys know they Diaz. have to keep going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. In there, and it's 0-1. Because this game's hard enough, and, you know, you try to minimize the pressure that you put on yourself or that you take in from outside. So, you know, sticking to the plan, the process every day, coming in, doing your work, uh, making the adjustments you need to make, and just focusing on the task at hand that day. To the right side. Tosses the first. That's the third out. Inning over. Nothing doing for Tampa. We played an inning. No score. Back now in Tampa Bay. New inning getting started. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. The first base. The pitch. Ryan Mountcastle. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other. Sometimes you'll get a little extra of the plate, and sometimes you won't. It does seem like he evens it out over the course of a game, though. The next offering misses. Now one and two. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Trey Mancini. One for three back on Wednesday. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. Cedric <laughs> That's great. Mullins. And next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 2 on the ground a second might be two there's one their second double play already this one ends the second inning we go to the bottom of inning number two we're tied nothing nothing welcome back bottom of the second here's the second baseman brandon loud leading off for the race the second baseman brandon the pitch and that one just misses a ball and no strikes and a pitch drill to the air right field way back there and that is out of here Brandon Lau bops one out of here. His second of the year, and the Rays take the lead. It's 1-0. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Here's Wander Franco. Batting fifth. Not shortstop. Wonder. Next offering is down low. Bronco. And that is ball one. And the 1 0. 
Nobody on, nobody out. The Rays leading on the solo homer. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Here's a one-two. Got him looking. And now one away. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location Batting there. Good. You know, sometimes no as a hitter, hitter, when you're down in the Brand count, you're so focused on oh, a pitcher oh, painting right the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. Yeah, the first offering is not close. Next offering is in for a strike. And one and two. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Batting seven. Mike Zunino next to hit for the Rays. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And a foul ball. It's really trying to stay in on the hands, not let them get extended, because that's where the potential for damage exists. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Move to first, and he's back safely. Oh, and two now. Swings and misses out number two. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, George. have to be ready to pull the trigger. Man at first, and now the hitter, G-Man Choi. Check on the runner, and he's hey. back in easily. A Rosarena off of first with two away. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a miss. It's a ball in two strikes. Next one just misses. The count now two and two. Next pitch has popped up. Bannon makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Rays kick off the scoring with a solo bomb. It's now a one nothing ball game. All set for the start of the inning. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. The right fielder, Anthony Santander. Rasmussen back to work. There's a strike. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. And that one fouled off. Going two now. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. No, those were tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Adley Rutschman. 
takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. This one high in the air to left center. Pulls it in on the run. That's out number two. Batting nine. The third baseman, Rylan. Here's the Bannon. rookie third baseman, Rylan Bannon. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. That one is back. Gone! Rylan Bannon with his first major league home run. A special moment in his young career. And who knows, maybe that will open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of the way can be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight just been taken off your back. You can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Olivares, and you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, just a tremendous day, great ballpark, and a special moment for sure. Jorge Mateo getting ready to hit, Jorge. and he's already singled Mateo. in this game. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering is in for a strike. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even now at 1-1. Back here at the ballpark, and stepping in is the speedy Kevin Kiermaier. The, the center field. The wind in the pitch. Kevin Kiermaier. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next one misses, and a count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, now but he didn't it. give in. The Just right kept field. it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. So the lineup flips over. Manuel Margot up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. Kiermaier on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Up next for Tampa Bay, the designated hitter, Brett, Brett Phillips. Phillips. Next to hit for the Rays. He's 0 for 1. He swings and fouls one off. All in one now. Chop back up the middle. Urias picks it up. The throw to first. Got the out. Now batting. Third baseman. Yandy Diaz. Now up for Tampa Bay. Yandy Diaz. Grounded out his first time. First offering, and it just misses. Kiermaier on third with two out. Out there to center, Mullins. Sizes this one up, tracks it down for the out. And that is that. The Rays strand just the one. Score remains tied 1 1. Out of the fourth, and now Ramon Urias. Leading off the Baltimore. And the right hander back to work. 
And first offering is fouled off. The next pitch misses one and one. Next one off the plate inside. And a count two and one. Here's a two one. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Up the middle. Loud gloves it. Throws the first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. The batter, the left fielder, Austin Hayes. And now it's Austin Hayes. In there for strike one. Line drive, base hit. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And here is Ryan Mountcastle. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Mancini in the box now. Take strike one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Fouled off. He was late. Here's the 0-2. Right through there. Got it. Now two out. No, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position in two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Now, here is Cedric Mullins. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Next pitch misses outside. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Throw over to Choi, and they get Mullins for the out. Third out. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. And welcome back. Bottom four, Lau at the plate. And leading off for the Rays, the second baseman, Brandon. And a pitch. Wow. In for a strike. Strike one. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Left hand batter waits. In the air, right field. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And a quick out, number one. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Franco stands in now and watches strike one. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch misses inside. Going to count one and two.
The other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now batting. Left fielder. Brandy. Two outs. Base is empty. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder. Brandy or Rosarena. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Two outs. Popped in the air. Left field. Hayes makes the catch, and that'll do it. Down in order, go the Rays. Still tied, 1-1. Back here at Tropicana Field, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. Leading off and leading it off, Anthony the Santander. Right Anthony Santander. The pitch. There's a strike. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. Belt and fires. And one and two. And he deals. Foul ball. The one two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. The catcher, number 35, Adley Rutschman. Here's Adley Rutschman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a base hit into right center field. Now he turns and heads for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. The batter, the third baseman. One Ryan down. Bannon. Here's the third baseman, Ryland Bannon. In there for strike one. Next pitch is inside. And a count even one and one. Bounce to the left side. Zips it to first. And there's two down. Now batting. Second baseman. Jorge Mateo. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Here's a speed threat. Jorge Mateo. One for two. That one's in there. 0 and 1. Rutschman on its second with two down. Rolled over to third. Diaz collects, fires over to first. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for the Orioles. Score remains deadlocked at one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Mike Zanino. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Up the middle. Mateo sends it to first. One up, one down. Now batting. The first baseman, G-Man Choi. So up next, G-Man Choi.
high. And that's in there for strike one. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. Next pitch off the plate. And now it's even one and one. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it one hops the wall. Choi into second, and he's got a double. One out, runner at second. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right side. Mateo handles the chance. Two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So the Rays batting order turns over. Here's Manuel Marco. In there for strike one. Rudder at third, two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Next pitch is in the dirt. Yeah, the count one and two. In the air out to center. Mullins gets under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. One left for Tampa. Score remains tied, 1-1. One, one. All set for the top of the sixth. And into the box for Baltimore, Ramon Urias. The shortstop, Ramon Urias. Rasmussen back to work. There's the strike. That one fouled off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Next Huge movement. It's so the difficult to get on the same plane stage. and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. To third, Diaz collects it. Zips it across, and a couple of quick outs. The first baseman, number six, Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. and oh. And it's fouled away. Fought off foul. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Got it. Down on strikes, and he knew it. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now here is... And leading up for the Rays, the... Designated hitter. And here it comes. And that's a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Kicks and fires.
Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one gone. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so. In an 0-2 count, you feel number like two. you've got a lot of plate Yandy. to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. <laughs> so he leaves the yard to left. His second of the year, it's 2-1. He went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Bases empty, one away. And now it's Brandon Lau. The batter, number eight, second baseman. That one's in there, 0-1. Oh, wow. One down, base is empty. This to center field. Mullins has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. The batter, number five. Shortstop, Wonder. Two outs, base is empty. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Wander Franco. The switch hitter batting right. In there and it's 0-1. Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Next offering upstairs. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. One and two now. On the ground to the left. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Pretty much to the opposite of what you want to do with the pitch on the outside part of the plate. Like that. Just rolled over, but good hustle down the line and got the infield knock. Now, Randy or Rosarena. Line drive, and that's base hit out into center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Back-to-back -back singles, oh, good extension on that swing. The Took the pitch on the outside Boy. part of the plate and drove it up Dude, the middle. He let it travel just enough. Now the Orioles manager is out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Bruce Zimmerman departs, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming up. He'll be back in a minute. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, number 49. And he'll do his best to keep this close. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So now the catcher up to hit, Mike Zunino. And the first pitch misses for ball one. offering his foul back. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. Two on, two outs. Got him. Good job of damage control right there. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Josh Fleming gets the ball now, and he'll work on holding this lead.
Welcome back. And now the DH, Trey Mancini. Leading off for Baltimore. The designated. Hit. And the pitch. Trey Mancini. This one in the air right field. Margot makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now that the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. So makes the hit for Baltimore. Cedric Mullins. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Just oh, off the go. inside edge. That one down the line, and that squirts through. Around first, digging for two. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Runner leads away at second. Hit slowly on the ground. Franco picks it up over to first. Play is made to out. Here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that's in there for strike one. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. The one two. Bounce to third. Diaz handles. Over to first. And that'll do it. And the Orioles leave one. And they trail it here two to one. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh, and stepping in for the Rays, G Man Choi. The, the first baseman, G Man Choi. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a foul ball. Foul ball there. And that one is lifted in the air. Hayes glides back, grabs it on the run. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Kiermaier at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Here's your one. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one in the air center field. Mullins gliding back and puts the squeeze on that. And there's two away. The right fielder, number 13, Manuel. So digging in, Manuel Marco.
That one's in there, 0 and 1. And the 0 1. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. And the right hander deals. On a line out towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Rays go in order. One, two, three, as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. Leading off to Baltimore, the third baseman. The pitch. Bannon. Bannon swings through it for strike oh, one. Next offering misses. One ball, one strike. Ball to strike. Got the bat going oh, too no, soon. It's strike two. And a ball leaving to count. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a ground ball out to short. In plenty of time to first. First out in the top of the eighth. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. So the batting order turns over. And next for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. One for three. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. A new pitcher in the game, Ryan Thompson. He's making his second appearance of the season. That one close, rule the ball. Ball one. Strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault his first commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Yeah, the batter now, Ramon Urias. Towards first. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Orioles held in check there. They're down two to one. Coming on for the Orioles, Ryan Baker. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Back now in Tampa Bay. Now it's the DH. Brett. Off. For the Rays, the designated hitter. Brett. Phillips. The pitch. And fouled off. The 0-1. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. And that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice line drive to the full side, bent it out front, but just stayed good nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. A laser base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, 
That's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Loud in the box now. No balls in a strike. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at bat. Nice job right there. Righty delivers. On the ground to first. Could be two. To second. Pulls him off the bat. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base, and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. Now batting Wander Franco. That one pulled foul. In the air, left field. Hayes right there to make the grab. And there's one down. Up next for Tampa Bay. No left field. Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Phillips at third. Diaz on second. Lau at first. One gone. Base hit. One run in already. Two runs across now. And they clear the bases. Three runs score. It's 5-1. He's in there. How about that? Clears the bases. They call those the alleys for a reason, man. They're long, and if you can't cut the ball off as an outfielder before it gets by you, that hitter's going to run for a while. That right there is a beautiful swing and nice hustle for the trip. The really pitcher on good. here, Bo Solson. And little room for Number error with a runner on third. So, so First pitch doesn't find the zone. The 1 0. Swings and misses. Strike one. So now one and two. And a swing and a miss. Two away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead, getting that double. At the play, G-Man Choi. That's towards center. And that is that. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Rays five and the Orioles one. Now on the mound for the Rays, Andrew Kittredge. Trying to protect his lead. So he's having an excellent Andrew. season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Back here at Tropicana Field, we go to the ninth and into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. First offering, misses the mark. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. Turn 
tacked on, but foul wide of third. And a pitch. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now only one yeah, out remaining. Right. Trey Mancini now. Little chopper rolls foul. Now the 0-1. Bounce to the right side. Lau picks it up. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Rays take the series opener here at home. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series. And there's just such a good feeling that you're in your own ballpark. You're sleeping in your own bed. You're eating your clubhouse manager's food. Everything's right in your world. And they played like it today. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Ball game for the victorious Rays. Five runs.